Hello everyone, this will be a super short video. Although this question pops out frequently and 3D artists are often scared of even mentioning normals and normal maps because, of course, there's nothing normal about them, it is a rather easy process of getting them, especially for 3D terrains with surface changes only happening on Z-axis. So let's start. Watch until the end because the easiest method is the last one mentioned in this video. The most common method of doing it should be performed as follows. Select your object and go inside its material shader tree. Add an image texture node and create a new texture. Make sure that the image texture node is selected during the entire baking process. Under the render properties menu, scroll down to the bake sub-menu and select normal under the bake type. Hit bake. After it's done, you will have to save the image, otherwise it will be lost after you close the file. Second method is even easier, but it won't work for all types of objects. However, for terrains it's almost ideal. Go to the view layer properties and make sure that the normal pass is enabled. You can go all the way down to one with sampling. Hit render. Done. Yep, easy. The only downside here is that you can't really play with strength. Last method is very similar but gives you a bit more control. Be aware that you have to set cycles as your rendering engine. Select the terrain mixer terrain object and go inside its shader tree. Look for the normal map oven frame and select the node title as normal output. Make some adjustment to bake normal sliders and hit render. F12 on your keyboard. That's it. Based on your reviews and recommendations, we'll be adding more features so feel free to share your thoughts. Cheers.